All right, we're back. And as is our custom, we are every chance we get, we're going to be taking on the guys in here just because doing so really gets us XPs and resources. And these guys aren't, especially at my current level, these guys aren't that hard. So, at my current level, these guys, oh, whoa, I didn't even realize this was here. That guy totally snuck up on me. Alright, now. Now, I think there's a guy over here. Yeah, there he is. Alright. Okay. Now, is there anything? Alright, we got it. We did, we did alright. Okay, we're gonna go on through. Going back. Make it to the docks. Now, who am I talking to here? Alright, we're going to... We gotta go... Well, first of all, we gotta get Rufus Kingsbury. And then further on is uh, Stella Fishburne. Alright, so we're gonna do Rufus Kingsbury first. Now everything seems under control. So you two, no, I'm Don't not targeting you. I am right. this garden something, sweetie. My guess is they're recruiting for some vengeance. Now my question is, for our... does she have anything I need? Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Doctor Reed. What do you want? All right, let's see. Now she doesn't have anything new. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Alright, um, does she have anything I need? Good handle part, common handle part, we'll take good handle part, and we'll buy two. Alright, common trigger part, and can I handle good trigger parts? Let's go ahead and buy them. Alright, and I have very little money left. But I'm ready Without to. Without the wet boots keeping things straight, these parts would be running completely amok. I can do some serious upgrades now, which is going to be awesome. Now, we're looking for Rufus, and Rufus is around here somewhere. Where is Rufus? Rufus is, uh, Rufus is right there. Alright. I don't need to target him. Good evening, Rufus. Evening, Mr. Reed. You seem happier than before. I live with Mrs. Fishburne now, in her house. I have a bed and everything. Okay. So how is your new life going? Good. I have a roof over my head and warm meals. Mrs. Fishburne is the best, but she's so sad. I hear her crying at night. Even if she did take you in, Mrs. Fishburne lost her son, who she loved very much. I know, but it makes me feel funny. I should feel bad for being here after Seymour died, not happy. Try to help her as much as she helps you, Rufus. Help each other through the grief. Mrs. Fishburne has been like a mother to me, and it's my turn to help her the best I can. Okay. Tell me your feelings about Seymour's death, Rufus. I am sad for Mrs. Fishburne, not for her dead son. I was afraid of him and his threats. I don't think a lot of people will miss him. But I don't think so either. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. You are a real person, buddy. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. That's it. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Now, Mrs. Fishburne, I do have to talk to her because she has more to say now that her son's dead. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? 
Of course. Dr. Reed. Right. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I'm so sorry about your loss, Mrs. Fishburne. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Could you check Rufus's health for me, please? I've been taking care of this young nipper since my poor Seymour died. Very well. But why so nervous? Even if he lives with me now, Rufus still spends too much time outside. He grew up in the streets, you see, and he's kept his old habits. Okay, um, let's see how she's doing. So, you live here with Rufus now. And how is everything? Yeah, we both had our share of tragedy. But I suppose it's a relief not to be alone in life. Did Rufus talk to you about his past? I knew the boy had a hard time in the streets, but I had no idea how miserable he really was. And I suspect he won't tell me all that he remembers. Anything else? Okay. I'd like to know more about your son's death, Stella. I was so afraid to see Seymour arrested and executed that I never thought about him being murdered. I'm sure his last thoughts were for you, Mrs. Fishburne. Actually, I know they Seymour were. was a terrible threat to the community, but he truly loved you. Your words break my heart as much as they bring me peace, Dr. Reed. How do you mean? The murder of my son made me understand what the other families must have felt. I shouldn't have protected him for so long. You have Rufus now. Make him a righteous man, a good man. That may be your path to peace. You are a good person, Dr. Reed. I wish we'd met sooner. Mm -hmm. In the end, Seymour avoided being judged for what he did. Does that not disturb you, Stella? For months, my greatest fear was to see my son being arrested and hanged. Now that he's dead, no one will ever know. Do you believe your son could have avoided being caught forever? I have no idea. Sometimes, I felt like he was becoming more and more careless. Perhaps he wanted to be caught. Some serial killers do. She's, oh, she's got sepsis. Okay. Um, Mrs. Fishburne, are you in need of any medical assistance? I am afraid. I am, Doctor. I don't feel well at all. Then let me give you a prescription. I thank you for your generosity, sir. It's something this part of town truly needs. All right, let's get... She's got nothing else to say, yeah? All right. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. All right, so I totally forgot... I did, just forgot that her last name was Fishburne. I actually thought that it was the other mother, the, the, the one whose son was murdered by someone other than me. I thought that that's who it was, the lady who, who lives over here. I thought that's who it was, that I had to go and uh, cure, but it wasn't. So I'm done here, and I should have known because she's here next to Rufus. I should have known because the other lady is not here the this this is who i thought it was uh, enid gillingham i thought it was enid and it's not um now i do need to go and find um roger and talk to him so i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can't find him and he is so he actually is over here so i'm gonna go ahead and place that marker again and go see if I can't find him. All right, keep my eyes up. Now, how do I get there? I can't, I can't jump, I can just jump across. All right, now. All right, now we're headed. 
Okay, we got a rat there. So I'm gonna heal up and then have that rat for dinner. This is despicable. All right, now. Oh, whoa, this guy's right there. Kill him. Wow, you didn't have a chance against me. I don't even know what level you were. I just wiped you out. Okay, so I'm trying to take out what? Yeah, you're right there. But are, are you, is it through here? Can I even get there through here? So whose house is this anyway? I don't even know whose house I'm in. Yeah, it's here. So she is, uh, where is she? She's on the ground floor. Yeah, so she is, yeah, you can't jump in this game, which is just awkward. Um, it's just awkward. Ooh, there he is. There's the fella. Good evening, sir. I'm glad to see you safe. I am not safe. I should never have come back here. My life is in danger. I know it. You're much safer here than in that contaminated area. Bullets kill people quicker than diseases and epidemics, Dr. Reed. Okay. What can you tell me about this district? The East End Docks only knows one rule. Dog eat dog and blood calls for blood. The gang will have their revenge on me one way or another. What can you tell me about the locals? Most people would say that Sean Hampton and Tom Watts are good men who try to sort things out. But for me, the real boss around there was my best friend, Jack Gillingham. Jack Gillingham, you say? Everyone around here knew Jack. He was a rock. A mountain, even. He feared nothing. He's okay. Your friend Jack has something to do with you fleeing to the contaminated area where I found you. I want to know more. Jack is dead. That's all you need to know. Dead because of me. So much violence. So much sorrow. All of that because I refuse to be insulted again. Okay. Oh, whoa. I don't think that's a good idea because the web boots will just kill him. No man can predict the exact outcome of his actions. It's the curse we have to live with. We can only gamble and do what we think is best. Perhaps you're right. The district was doomed before I was born. But I cannot stop myself thinking that Jack died for me. Why do you say that? After I killed that gang member, the web boot boy suspected Jack. And being loyal and all, he did not refute the accusation. Hmm. The death of your friend has affected you deeply, hasn't it? Jack Gillingham was the real deal. He believed we could change the world if we were united and focused enough. And he brought out the best in each of us. Okay. You're right. He died to save you. That alone gives me an idea of the kind of man he was. He was the bravest. And no one dares to say openly that he got killed by those bastards. Okay, well, he was stupid to stand up alone is not something I'm ever going to say. You are not going to spend the rest of your life hiding, Rodney. What are you planning to do? Honestly, I have no idea. How am I supposed to live while so many have suffered because of me? Only you can answer that question. But one thing is certain. Since you owe Jack your life, I think it's fair to live it in a way that would make him proud. That's the kind of thing Jack could have said, Dr. Reed. Thank you for that. I believe you're a good guy too. Right, Jack's death affected you deeply. There's no way I'm going back into that. I'm not gonna tell him that Jack was stupid to stand up alone. That's never happening. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Grader. Take care. His name is Grader? I thought his name was Gardener. I just read it wrong. All right, so I don't need uh, 
this marker anymore, so I'll erase it. Now we're just gonna go and see Lady Ashbury. Uh, no reason to go anyplace else now. Okay, I can go that way. That way leads to what? So there's a hideout there, but I don't need to go there. I can go this way, which leads to the same thing. So we're gonna head this way. Oh, this is the night asylum, so I don't really need to go into the night asylum. I mean, I could go talk to Sean. I really could. And there's a hideout here. Oh, okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and deal with that. took a single hit from him awesome that was fun that was cool all right that was really 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 what this is all about i'm hearing scowl okay okay we'll, we'll take you on too <laughs> okay kind of harder when they have henchmen but... whoa how did i get killed I wasn't anywhere near dead, as far as I could see. Oh my god. Oh man. That took me completely by surprise. I didn't see my health as being anywhere near that, that, that low. I didn't see my health as being anywhere near that low at all. Alright, fine. Alright. All right, well, let's have this fight again. All right. Okay. What the hell? Well, nowhere near as effective this time. Alright. Come on, heal. Oh, come on with that. Okay, I won the fight that time. Fight didn't go as well, but I won. That's odd. That's an odd combo there. The fight didn't go as well, but I won better. All right? Now, I have rats. I have this. Which means I have healing. Now. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, now. I'm gonna have another rat. I have this. Thirst now I'm gonna go ahead blood. and get my save on. Alright. Gotta get that save on and we're gonna go. Alright, we're gonna make some treatments. And we're gonna take the cordial. Alright, and now let's see. Can I upgrade this knife now? And I can, awesome. And the knife, we're gonna make the knife enhanced, decreased stamina consumption, or 
enhanced damage. Now we've made it increase blood, increase blood, decrease stamina consumption by 10% or enhance damage. We're gonna enhance the damage. All right, that's what we're doing with that. Um, now, we still don't have the weapons that we're gonna be using finally, so that's fine. Um, but we have increased Dragon Bane. Dragon Bane is level four. All right, now, what we need, we need to make some potions, okay. So we need to make some serums. All right, and those are still maxed out. That's fine. Um, all right, so we're gonna, I can't make any neuralgia. I can't make any migraine. Can't make any headache, all right? I can make a cold. We're gonna hold cold at two for now. And we're gonna go back up to 10 for fatigue. Because fatigue is the most common, all right? All right, that's cool. All right, that's good enough. All right, now we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna continue to try, okay, what's, what's here? All right, we're gonna try to continue to try to make our way towards Lady Ashbury. Oh, I didn't even notice that that train moved. All right, now, here we are. All right, I think I go through here, which means this is probably, I'm probably gonna have a fight in here. Yeah, yeah. We got a blinker spell. All right. Gave me a hit. Oh man. Okay. Now we're gonna loot what we loot. And we have. We'll heal that up on our own, so that's fine. Now, are we gonna get out of here? Are we headed. Which way is the way out? So if I make a left turn from where I'm at, can I get out that way? Okay, oh, whoa. Yeah, so we're gonna go, we're gonna let these guys have a little bit of a fight here. And then we'll drop in and we'll mop up the survivors. All right, so those are all, okay, those are all scals. Oh, look how many scowls there are. Yeah, there's quite a few scowls. And there's there's one over there. There's like, good grief, how many scowls are around here? Alright, there's like five scowls. There's like, no joke, like five scowls around here. There's like, no joke, like five scowls around here. Mixing it up. Alright. Uh, let's do it. No. Alright. Okay. Oh, I got bit. Damn it. Alright. We gotta heal immediately. Alright. Jump in. Is that two blinkers? Stay locked. Locked. All right, shoot him. Okay, we got the blinker. All right, we took a big hit. Let's heal, heal, heal. Okay, that's how he killed me the last time. That guy's swing is a lot of damage. All right. All right, that's how he killed me the last time. Now I completely understand why I died. That guy's that guy's hit is like more than half my health bar. So that's why I died the last time I fought him. All right now, did that other scout from over there join in? It looks like he, he did. All right, we'll take this loot. Now we're headed, we're trying to go across there. Well, no. Yeah, we're trying to go here. All right, that's cool. Okay. Mm, loot, we'll have that. 
Okay, it's just, oh, there's shillings we'll have. Okay, and there looks like uh, something over here. Oh. I insist you be quiet! Son, do you not see? You are the healing bar. I had to kill Mary! I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Wow. And that is going to be the perfect note to end this episode on. So I will thank you now for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace.